Now, the season of Easter is a time whereby people all over the world come to celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. You may be sitting and wondering if this story is real or it's uh, some gimmicks or some just some biblical storybook that tells the story of somebody. No, this is real life, brothers and sisters. I mean, I've, vis I've been to Israel before and I visited the tombs, I visited the sites where Jesus existed, walked on this earth and demonstrated what the Bible says he did. So there are evidences everywhere. You know, there are books, there are history facts about the Lord Jesus. He came to this world and paid the ultimate price so that you and I can believe in him and trust him and be free from guilt of sin, be free from guilt of evil doing, be free from the guilt of, of iniquity in our lives. Jesus paid the price that was needed to be paid by God so that we can be free and also have eternal life. Do you know that you can enjoy this benefit as a, as a, as a person? Once you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, accept his death and resurrection and tell him that you are his he is your god he will become your god and you will enjoy the benefits of redemption redemption is for everyone if you accept this resurrection uh, history and believe in jesus you are a child of god brother you are a child of god sister so i want you to know that resurrection was real and is real jesus came died and rose again this is the joy we have Christianity is not a religion, it is the evidence that we have a risen Lord. Our God we serve is not a dead God, He is a living God. And that's why when we pray, we pray to a living God. We trust that the living God will answer living people. Many people out there are praying to dead God, but we are praying to the God who we know that is alive, Jesus, who was killed, dead, buried and resurrected. He is alive, friends, and He is here for you and me. He is here to answer your prayers. He is here to help you in terms of need. He is here to deliver you from the oppression of the wicked one. Right? Now, you, are, you, are, you have to understand that the, the fact that Jesus died and rose again means that He can resurrect dead situations in your life. You may be sick in your body. Maybe some organs are dead in your body. Or maybe some situations, marriage is dying, or friendship, or some your job is going, or, or some things are dying in your life. Listen, the power of resurrection can bring back what is dead back to life. The Lord Jesus, once you invite him into that situation and persist and pray fervently, God will bring back the dead. Your situation that is dead will come back to life. One time I prayed for a lady who was ill and couldn't speak. And in less than 10-15 minutes, the voice came back to life again. Because Jesus is alive. He brings dead things back to life. And I know he's going to do that for you. Trust him. And I agree with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. And talk to you again. Bye-bye.